thanks a lot for being here. Um, well, in, uh, in this paper, or the beginning of this paper, we, we take it back from, uh, from, uh, from a few presentations of this morning. It links very well with the presentation of, um, by Stefan Wallgraf, uh, and it also, on the, of course, on the presentations on uh, Italian elections. And we looked at, uh, at the impact of VAAs in, uh, in a special case that was uh, the last election of, um, of 2013 in Italy. Um, the title of this panel is uh, um, Factors Driving the Election Outcome. Uh, electoral participation is one of the factors that drive the election outcome because uh, according to people voting or not voting, uh, the balance of vote shares in the end changes and uh, uh, so the participation as such is a driver of the election outcome. Um, in the case of Italy, uh, we find uh, a clear sign of, um, of, of decline in trends of turnout, which is an uh, international trend, but in the, in the Italian case, uh, it's special, because uh, the, according to the mobilization patterns, uh, whether, people, wh whether parties are able to mobilize or not mobilize the voters um, during, the, during the campaign, the, the effect on the results is huge. This is, this is some evidence from the, from the Italian panel, and uh, according to whether voters have been mobilized or not throughout the campaign, the, the results for parties, for specific parties, uh, are uh, hugely different. So the, the mobilization is a very important factor in the, um, has been a very important factor in this campaign. And uh, the background uh, is, uh, is what Paolo Bellucci mentioned uh, this morning. Uh, the, the, mm, the, the, the background of this election was a background in which um, there was a, a huge disaffection towards political parties, which, was used, which has been used to explain the, the, the result of um, Movimento Cinque Stelle. But also, as Paolo mentioned, uh, uh, the, basically, parties' disengagement with mobilization. Parties uh, uh, did not actually attempt or did not do it very effectively um, to engage people with, uh, with, with the election and to mobilize them throughout the election, which is actually what, what we think is their main goal in the campaign. Um, at the same time, the other factors that are uh, supposed to drive uh, mobilization during the campaign, uh, this let's say short-term factors um, has been very ineffective. Political leaders uh, uh, were um, incredibly unpopular in this, uh, in this election. For certain parties, uh, e for, uh, even the voters of, for instance, Partido Democratico did not ra rate uh, with a sufficient score their party leader. So even the image of the leaders was something that was unable to mobilize. And the same goes for uh, the policy positions of parties because uh, the, um, the technocratic government uh, supported by basically all parties uh, blurred the responsibility, but at the same time uh, blurred uh, um, somehow the, the blur was perspective. And um, the, the, the policy positions were, um, this is not for me, right? It's okay, right. I'm sorry, I just saw one minute. Um, so policy positions were very opaque in this, uh, in this election. In this paper, we tackled this, uh, this, this issue. And uh, in particular, we, we wondered what would be the effect of policy-based information on uh, individual level patterns of mobilization. Is the provision of policy-based information uh, um, a sufficient factor to drive uh, uh, people to, um, to the polls? Um, and we use voting advice applications to, to, to test these, um, these hypotheses. And basically, we use voting advice application as a means to provide people um, relevant policy-based information. Stefan explained uh, in, in detail this morning uh, the, the, the logic, so I'll go very quickly. Um, the application uh, proposes very simple policy statements on which users are asked to to rate their degree of, uh, of accordance. They can uh, agree or disagree that uh, the property tax should be abolished. And um, the, after the comparison of the user's answers uh, to, the, to the positions of the same party on, uh, on the same uh, policy issues, the, the application will provide them with an advice. 
Uh, it all started 25 years ago in paper and pencil in Holland with the stem visor. This was uh, something used in uh, high schools to teach people about uh, politics and uh, po differences uh, uh, between political parties. Um, throughout the years, it became one of the most uh, political, probably the, well, let's say one of the most used political applications on the web. Um, huge diffusion in 2013, uh, Valomat has been used by 12 million German users. Um, academic research, the, the interest, uh, uh, Stefan explained it very well, there are different reasons um, for, for academics to, uh, to look at VAAs and, um, and, their, the, and their role, let's say. Um, there has been used to, to, to study parties, to study party competition, to study campaigns. But in this paper, we are very interested, of course, in, uh, in looking at the, in, of the effects of the tool itself on, uh, on participation. Uh, the theory is, uh, is, is pretty straightforward. Um, the idea is that if parties are less and less capable of mobilizing their voters because uh, um, parties are ties are uh, weaker and weaker throughout time and um, and the same goes for for the effect of secondary associations like trade unions uh, and um, basically when all the, the 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 groups in which a voter is embedded are not able to to mobilize them anymore uh, there is room for different factors to affect their political behavior. Um, one of the key factors nowadays is the personalization of politics, so the role played by uh, political leaders in the process. But uh, one, uh, another key factor uh, that, that has been shown to, to be rising in the nowadays is issue voting. Issue voting is uh, simply stated as the idea that the vote choice is determined by proximity to the issues brought about by political parties. Um, the, the theoretical framework that we use is that of uh, low information rationality. So uh, not the paradigm of the rational choice, uh, the voter is not fully informed and we cannot expect the voter to be fully informed when it comes to political decisions, but voters are not even full and they try to make their best uh, out of the few information they have available, trying to save time and uh, to make, the, let's say, the best decision out of the few information they have and the little time they have to invest in, uh, in getting informed about politics. So VAA is this, this framework very well because, uh, as Stefan explained very well, uh, they decrease dramatically the information cost. Uh, basically, uh, a session of a user with a VAA that takes 10 to 15 minutes max uh, equals somehow to uh, having read all the party manifestos for all the parties running in that campaign. And um, if you think of it uh, the, the, in terms of uh, the, the information sa saving uh, cost is, uh, is, is huge. Um, and by this framework, uh, we expect that by lowering the information costs, uh, um, VAAs increase the likelihood of voters to cast a vote. Why? Because the mechanism that we have in mind is the, that of the representative deficit, which has been shown at first in a, in a paper by Mike Alvarez, Peter Meyer, and, um, and Alex Traxel. The idea is, uh, is pretty simple. The application will show you uh, what party is closer to you and what party is further to you. But this applic the, the application will also tell you how far the parties are from you. So uh, by using the application, uh, uh, users might find out uh, that, that there is a party they never considered, uh, but actually this party is uh, very close or more close than expected uh, to their own positions. And this learning process can affect them, their patterns of behavior, and maybe go and cast a vote even if they didn't want to, because they find out that there is party, this party in particular that is, uh, um, that is representing them, and maybe they felt that they had the idea of, uh, of let's say, of being alone in the political space, but eventually the application shows that there is a viable alternative and that this can affect their propensity to cast a vote for this party. Um, the studies, um, there, there have been a few studies going on uh, in, in the last years on, uh, on the effect of uh, using a VAA on patterns of participation. The first studies were were based on opt-in surveys. So basically, the sample of the studies were 
uh, users themselves willing to um, willing to to answer further questions for for scientific research and uh, out of these um, early studies uh, the, the the value of these studies was that of hinting that there was something going on because all the users were claiming that uh, the, the application had positive effect about them um, on them so uh, in the Swiss case uh, on the election of 2007 I guess 40 percent of the users of the uh, Swiss VAA declared that they uh, have been somehow influen influenced in um, in participating because of using the um, of using the VAA same goes in Germany. 10% of users were more motivated. But the problem was it, with these studies, it, it, was a, it was a clear problem. These measures were self-reported uh, and uh, they were free behavioral. So this is actually a self-assessment of what you think the application will do on your behavior later on. So this is not, uh, th there is a double self-selection bias that makes these results very weak. Um, so, studies started to, to, to look at representative samples to, 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 to see whether this effect was there or not. Uh, using national election studies, uh, some, some evidence has, uh, has started to emerge, and uh, even using representative samples, uh, it looked that something, some significant effect is going on. But again, the problem with the studies is that the treatment is not randomly assigned. People decide by themselves whether they want to use it or not. So um, we have a problem uh, when it comes to causal inference because we don't know whether the treatment uh, has a genuine effect of itself. Um, what's the solution? A random assignment of the treatment uh, and measuring uh, before and then after behavior has taken place. Experiments. There have been a few attempts to, to study effects of um, VAAs using experiments. The first one was uh, in Christian Vassil's um, PhD thesis uh, here at the UI. Uh, he did uh, an experiment on 400 Estonian students uh, during the, um, the European election of 2009 um, using the U-profiler. But he finds uh, very weak effects on turnout, but the biggest problem is that his sample is non-representative. So again, we have the same problem as before. Um, Alex, with, um, with a group of colleagues, also tried to, to, to run an experiment in 2011 on, um, on the Swiss case uh, using the smart vote platform, uh, but there was a problem. Given that this VAA was super widespread among the population, uh, when, one, when one was to divide uh, control group and treatment group, the problem is that everybody in the control group uh, used the, the smart vote VAA anyways, and uh, this makes uh, both groups basically uh, hard to compare. This is where we had our experiment. We did this with uh, with a group of um, researchers from um, from different universities. Some are sitting here. Uh, the University of Siena helped in um, with the, with the coding of the political parties. Uh, what's special? Th this was the way it looked like. Um, what was special about this experiment? The, the experiment was special because Italy was, uh, we used the country as a nationwide laboratory. Italy is uh, probably the only country in Western Europe in which no VAA, no real VAA exists. And we could um, use this country as a laboratory because nobody in the control group uh, could take a VAA because a VAA does not exist. So we developed uh, an experimental VAA platform, this one, that was only available to those in the treatment group of our experiment. We exploited uh, the, um, uh, a panel by the Italian National Action Study that basically asked uh, everybody, the entire re random sample of, of Italian users of about, let's say, 1,000 respondents, uh, about their political attitudes, uh, voting intentions, turnout intentions before the election. Then we split the group in two. Um, the treatment group uh, was asked to fill in this VAA, which was accessible only to them. And the control group uh, was left alone until the election. And then everybody else has been re-interviewed after the election. Uh, we could make sure that nobody in the, the control group was a real control group. and. Um, and we, in this paper, at least, we look at mobilization. So the difference in the intention to participate 
between before the election and after the election. We call mobilized somebody that before the election says, I'm not going to vote, and eventually he does. And we look whether the treatment has an effect on this change of, um, from intention to behavior. Um, and we find that, yes, we find an effect. Um, the entire sample get mobilized throughout the campaign as expected because the campaign is expected uh, is aimed at mobilizing so it's is expected that we that every the entire sample get more mobilized in average but the interesting part is that uh, those in the treatment group are twice as much more likely to be mobilized than those in the, in the control group uh, we run average treatment effect models and we find that uh, uh, these preliminary estimates that we have, we still have to, to look uh, a bit more into, in, into the details of the data. But uh, our preliminary assessments is that uh, having used the treatment, uh, holding every other possible factor constant, uh, increase the individual level propensity, the individual level probability to go and cast a vote by 5%. So 5% um, of, let's say, turnout could be imputed to, to having used the treatment, which is the VAA. So to conclude, uh, we think, we, we are very happy about this, um, not about this paper, but about this research, because we could um, basically study VAA effects in, uh, in an ideal design. Italy has been, uh, in, during this election, uh, the, one of the greatest possible places to study the effect of VAAs because nobody has an understanding of what VAA is. So there, 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 there is no risk that of contamination of the results, let's say. Uh, we found uh, strong effects, very strong effects, and indeed stronger than those from previous studies. Um, and uh, well, from a normative point of view, um, we, we, we would argue that the provision of relevant information uh, is, uh, is a key factor to, to counterbalance um, the, the decline in turnout rates. And this is, is, is very important when it comes to the forthcoming European elections, uh, for which we have another project. And, we, and we, we, we are, this project is moved by, by the idea that uh, the, the, the provision of information provided in the, in the right way let's say, um, gives, uh, gives citizens a reason to, to participate. Uh, from a research point of view, we, are, um, we, we, we have to do more on this paper. And uh, most importantly, with this uh, research and with this design, we, we have to look at more outcomes of interest. So far, we focused on uh, mobilization, but uh, according to the research that has been done already, uh, there is room to believe that using the VAA um, will also change not only patterns of participation, but vote choice itself and, uh, and, and, and more. We, we have to work on this, but uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks.